Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're covering the long-awaited Chanel holiday 2023 video. I picked up a couple of items, not all, but just a few select items and we're going to go ahead and do that for today's video. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. <laughs> let's take a sip and let's get started. I think we'll start off by getting some of this hair out of my face. I have some little hair clips here that I can use today to just sort of push this out of the way. So I'm certain that many of you already have several of, or maybe all the items for the holiday release. Thank you for your patience. I was away on vacation, so I wasn't able to film while on vacation, obviously. But now I have my items. I have my thoughts and opinions, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into that. To give you a brief rundown of this year's holiday collection, it is inspired by the Roaring Twenties. We see this in a lot of the packaging. The detailing looks like sequins. At first, I thought maybe it was feathers, but actually it's sequins. It's a callback to the 20s, the flapper era, and Coco Chanel's heyday, basically. And so that is the inspiration. We see it also in some of the marketing for the makeup with the bold, dark lip. So that is the inspiration for this year's release. And I only picked up two items. There are tons to choose from this year. There's eyeshadows, there's a lot of highlighters, so many highlighters this year, and lip products, nail polish as well. But I only went with two items. I went with the eyeshadow palette and one highlighter. The palette that I picked up is called Lumia Graphique, and this to me is gorgeous because I love a five shadow palette. This reminds me of old Chanel with Peter Phillips. I love it. And there's not a single red eyeshadow here. So this retails at 105 Canadian plus tax. And this has, I believe, 4.5 grams of product in it. So that's what this palette looks like here. And I looked at my regular four shadow palettes. Those are 79 Canadian plus tax, and those are only two grams of product. So even though this is more expensive for the holiday release, you get over twice the amount of eyeshadow in the palette if you want to think of it in that context. And it says that it has an 18 month expiration date, which means as soon as you crack it open and you use it, you have 18 months to use it up. This is the palette here swatched. As you can see, there is not a single matte in here. We have a variation of satin finishes. This one here is the most glittery. It's the most sparkle. I would say that these two here, they're not matte, but they are the mattest in this palette here. This is really a palette of light and wonder, of light and satin and luminous finish. There's not a single matte in here. This may or may not be a problem. We'll, we will discover this as we go. And we get a nice range. We obviously get our stark white. I think this could hit a bit of blue, possibly. This one here is really calling to me. More neutral, taupey here. And then I love this light champagne color. I love this dark color here. It almost looks like it's a matte, but it isn't. It is not matte. And then this one here looks like a light color but almost a bit more brown and a bit lighter a bit softer it's giving festive smoky glowy look and i'm so happy to see this because i have loved a lot of the older five palettes available for the holiday release it's been several years since they've abandoned the five shadow palettes and i hope that they're I hope that this signifies a call or a, a bring back to that i hope that they do this every year now now for the highlighter like i stated there are several to choose from there is one that is matching this palette here it is a duo highlighter and it has the same sort of embossing i tried it in store and there was something there texture wise i did not love i felt like it wasn't as buttery and creamy as it should have been dare i say a little bit chalky or grainy i don't know there was something there that i did not love and then online we have a whole series of these oversized jumbo highlighters which we've talked about uh, here on my channel so those are available as well but there's also a new sublimage highlighter and i had absolutely no intention on buying this but somehow i went to the counter and here we are so this is le concentré lumière 
this is the ultimate radiance concentrate so this is part skincare part makeup part of the sublimage skincare line and when you purchase this you also get a little fan brush inside so make sure to fish it out before you put the box in the recycling and this is what the little fan brush looks like you can use it directly you can also put it on the brow bone it's cute so this here is 130 canadian plus tax i know this is 15 milliliters and it has a 12 month expiration date so that means once you open it you should theoretically use it within 12 months this is a limited edition product with a powerful illuminating effect the final step to achieve a beautiful complexion it is enriched with a combination of different sized pearlescent pigments for a multifaceted glow it's fresh lightweight has a fluid formula instantly melts into the skin and delivering a sheer finish In interesting okay let me go ahead and show you what this looks like again this is just the bottle here and this is glass so don't drop it it's expensive and it'll be a horrible nightmare to clean up so it is fluid but also this is not running it almost feels jelly like but as soon as you blend it out it really feels like water it's an interesting texture as soon as you blend it out it's so it really melts it meshes into the skin as one with the skin really and it does have that faint vanilla planifolia scent here as well and this is what it looks like melted into the skin but this is i would say one pump is sufficient for the face so we'll go ahead and use it later i'll go ahead and include an ingredient list of the five shadow palette right here so please go ahead and pause and then the ingredient list for the concentrate liquid highlighter here is posted here now unfortunately this one does have alcohol in it which is really unfortunate i didn't realize that when i purchased it oops that was my mistake because i bought it uh in store and sometimes when i buy online i'm a bit more meticulous but sometimes in person i just sort of let the spirit of shopping take over me apparently so let's go ahead and create a tutorial with this beautiful palette now if you are not familiar with my channel hi my name is ali i used to work for chanel i don't work for them anymore but i am a chanel expert and i'm going to create several different looks with this palette here so please make sure you are subscribed to my channel i'm going to give you tons of ideas and inspiration on how to use up this palette and i also have a series on my channel called ask a chanel expert where i take a deep dive into the brand and their products so make sure you're subscribed and make sure your notification bell is set to on so starting off with this color here this is the shade here that's calling me the most i'm going to i'm just tapping a little bit off on the tissue here but i'm just going to sweep this on the lid everything that i'm using mentioning wearing the brushes everything is listed in the description box down below so please go ahead and check that out this brush here is one of the chanel dual ended brushes i love these this is the definer and smudger brush so i'm just starting off with this one over here and this is a very pretty color it has some satin finish to it it's very luminous it almost looks like it almost looks like a taupe with a brown honestly maybe a whisper of a khaki olive but only a little bit I'm going to take just a little bit of that and sweep it on the bottom lashes here so please sound off in the comments let me know what items you picked up from this release here because i think it became available almost like late october online but it depends which region you live in different countries get different releases at different times i'm switching to a different dual ended brush here just to blend this together and actually this does not have a matte shade in here so what i'm going to do for the crease here i'm going to use a face powder this is the universal loose powder in the shade 30. you can in fact use face powder on your eyes i'm just taking what was on the puff here just taking off the excess 
and I'm just going in the crease. If you wanted something more warm, you could use your bronzer, but I really just want it to be flesh toned really. So I'm just going to use my face powder. So yes, please let me know what did you pick up from this release here? How many highlighters did you get? Did you get one? Did you get all of them? I know that as far as the series of oversized highlighters, they have been the talk of the town for months now. So I wouldn't be surprised if some people just got, you know, one of each, not one of each, probably, but maybe one or two because there's three different shades and five different motifs. So I could see some people really enjoying it. I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher in the crease here. And I think I'll do a little bit of a halo effect with this eye. I'm going to do two different eye looks here because I just want to show you multiple different ways to use this palette here. So I'm just going to bring it up and I will in fact bring it into the inner part of the eye as well. And then taking this color here, I'm going to take this and press it on the center part of the eye, just like that. And then using a separate finger, I'm just going to blend it out. So this creates a little bit of a halo around the eye. I know it sounds counterintuitive to do darker color on the inner part of the eye and only light in the center, but it's just for this specific look here. And then I'm going to use a black eyeliner. I'm using number 88. This is a black waterproof liner. And I'm going to go into the top waterline here. And then gently trace just a little bit on the bottom um, lashes here. So obviously this is um, half baked. It looks a bit wild. Please bear with me for the time being. I'm just going to take more of this powder here, the same face powder, just really lightly, just going all over. Now I'm going to do something hmm, even bolder, I think. I'm going to go into this color here. This does have some shimmer to it but not as much as I thought it would, thankfully, because, I mean, well, this does have some shimmer to it, but not quite as much as I thought it would, thankfully. So if you want to do like a super dark, dramatic, smoky eye, you could do that very nicely with this. And if you pack it on, it's going to be more intense. I forgot to mention that there is a little applicator brush in here that came with a palette. So I'm going to go into this one here, this lighter color. And I'm going to go into the inner part of the eye. This is a very pretty color. It's almost like a cream shade. And then I'm just going back over top of that just to blend these out together nicely. I kind of wish I had left that darker color even more on the outside here, but I'm just going to mix these two together. This light color here, I like this little brush. The brushes that come with the palettes, I keep them. They're not amazing, but honestly, they'll do in a pinch. I'm just going to take more of my face powder here and blend that out and concentrate that darker color just on the outer part here. And I might do a little wing, just a little bit with this color here. What I'll do is I'll take my dual ended brush, go into the super tapered side, go into the dark color here and trace a little bit. And then I have an eyeliner that I'll use in a moment. I am noticing a bit of fallout. I went to fix it and I just sort of smudged it even more. Love that. Um, I think the fallout is 
I'm not sure which color because I'm using the dark one over here and I'm not really seeing that I saw a little tiny bit I'm noticing more fallout on this side here and I used this one the most like there's a little bit not a ton but enough like for me to just tell you but as you can see I do eyes first for a reason so I'm going to use my black waterproof liner just in the waterline up here I know it looks kind of crazy for a moment just bear with me and then I'm going into my eyeliner pen from Chanel this is called the signature from Chanel in black I don't think they have many colors I think it's just black so it's a little felt tip like this and I'm just going to do like a very thin line here and a little tiny flick Okay, so I added a little baby wing to both sides. I'm just having an eyeliner moment. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Sublimage Concentré right now. I, I don't know, there's multiple ways to use it. It's a liquid highlighter. You can go ahead and place it strategically on different parts of the face. You can layer it on top of your foundation. You can mix it into your foundation or you can in fact wear it as a primer. So usually with liquid highlighters, what I like to do is I like to layer them as if they were a primer. So that's what we're going to do here today. And I can use the little fan brush just to show you how it works in action. And I have to say, this does dry down quite quickly. It dries down quicker than other liquid highlighters that I have. The texture sort of seems to change, like I stated it's a liquid it's sort of jelly like you know it doesn't run everywhere it doesn't flow but as soon as you start manipulating it and playing with it it really just melts and meshes one with the skin now one thing to note as you can see it's all blended into the skin it is illuminating and as you see here in the bottle it looks golden it looks very golden it doesn't really have that much of a golden color to it so i think for that purpose it could be really multi-purpose for a lot of different skin tones it's not really stuck to a different or like a specific shade range however i find that the particles of this could be a little bit glittery you can see the glow clearly there's some glow but we're gonna go ahead and zoom in right now and i just find that it's a little bit glittery i don't know i i didn't notice this in store but i'm noticing it now and i have been wearing it off camera a little bit and yeah i just think it's a little glittery so be mindful of that next up i'm going into my sublimage l'essence de teint foundation in the shade b30 now that it's much colder out i am definitely feeling more heavy foundation this is a lot of foundation, hold on. Might just uh, take off some of this. But for the summer, I really wasn't feeling much foundation. I was feeling a skin tint and that's it. But now that it's colder, I do feel like wearing foundation, especially for a holiday makeup, holiday look. I'm like, yeah, think of like a fun party, full, full face sounds wonderful to me. So, the sublimage conce or concealer sublimage highlighter works really nicely with other foundations it blends nicely i like this foundation a lot the sublimage l'essence de teint it's very fluid very runny it's like um where is it almost like a serum foundation you know it's very water-like it's very natural has a beautiful finish and it has a nice level of coverage as well so it's good for this look the inspiration you know it's still november but i'm like yeah I, I this holiday release here is giving me holiday vibes and so that's why this makeup look is going to be a little bit heavier today for the concealer i'm going into my sublimage concealer i have the shade 32 and this is like a little bit peachy so it's going to just hide any discoloration you have and i've owned this concealer here for over a year now because it came out around this time last year and i still have over half a jar left it's a very pricey concealer i won't lie to you it's very expensive but honestly 
a little bit goes a very long way and it, it, it's super image so it's like part skincare part makeup it claims to be like blurring and crease proof and fudge proof and just brightening and it does all of those things unfortunately for you for me for our wallets this concealer actually does what it's supposed to which is great but it just means that i'm sort of like locked in now to buy it again but honestly at this rate i think there'll be like a reformulation before i need to buy a new one because it just is lasting me forever so now i'm going into a chanel concealer brush here this is technically a dual ended one i never really use this side i guess this side i could use to sort of decant my concealer but i'm not so because I'm doing a little bit of a darker look on this side here, make sure to take your concealer up into the inner part of the eye and just drag it underneath the brow bone just to brighten. We're not even adding makeup and we're not adding extra concealer here. It's just going to brighten up a little bit. For the blush, I'm keeping it super simple i want something neutral that's going to go with both eyes that is a challenge for me sometimes when i do these videos but i'm going into my jersey blush this is the old formula fortunately for me and i'm just going to tap on some color here this is the chanel blush brush i like that it's at an angle like it's tapered like this so it just fits here just going to add a little bit of color i think the next time i create a look with this palette or this Chanel holiday collection. I'm going to do something really dramatic. I might try to recreate one of the um, beauty looks I've seen online on the website and on Instagram. Something like really dramatic and with like a nice dark bold lip. I think that would be cute. I'm just going to tap on a little bit of the face powder that I was using before for my eyes. Now I'm using it for my face. This is uh, number 30, so I'm just using the puff. It feels very extra to use the puff that comes with the powder. And for the lip, I'm going to keep it neutral. I'm going into my nude brown lip liner. This is the shade 162. Just a beautiful nude brown lip. I'm going to outline my lip. I'm not going to go in the center. It's going to give a bit of an ombre effect. Just outline the lip. And then draw a line in the center this sort of creates the illusion of fullness oops and then i'm going into a lip gloss this is 716 i forget the name but it's a really beautiful color like this all right now that we've done the full face please leave a comment down below vote on which eye look you prefer do you prefer look number one or look number two now because these tones here are pretty i mean neutral we have a nice range here there isn't like anything too clashing but this one here i think is a little bit lighter and softer but i don't know just vote down below and tell me which eye look you prefer there's really no wrong answer just a question of taste now in order to complete the look we have to go into a fragrance. I couldn't find it. But I have here the number five hair mist. And number five is synonymous with the holidays for Chanel. So I thought, why not go in with a hair mist here? It looks like the number five bottle shape, but this is the hair mist. So we're going into this one here. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? I think that this palette is very pretty. Did they reinvent the wheel with these shades absolutely not we have some very classic shades dare i say basic but in a good way like this is very user friendly you can go into some of the lighter colors the only thing that's a little annoying is that there's no matte in here so it kind of depends on you if you have a palette at home with a matte you probably do or you could use a face powder like I did. So that is really nice. I love the hues. I love the colors. It's very classic. Like, like I said, like it's nothing earth shattering shade wise, but I'm okay with that. I'm fine. The highlighter. I really like it. I think it looks nicer layered underneath. I have tried it on top and I find that if you put it on top of the foundation, the glitter is more apparent. You see more of that glitter effect. So Personally, I'm going to keep layering it underneath my foundation or maybe I'll mix it in together. 
So just be mindful of that. Like what did it say? It had like a mixture of different illuminating spheres. It does, but it could lean on glittery. So be aware of that. So this is tutorial look number one, or it was two looks, but this is video number one with the holiday release. Like I stated, make sure you're subscribed and yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys for today's video. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.